Hello students. Now, in this topic, we will be covering complete organic compounds reactions with PCl3. Whatever compounds are there, there in organic chemistry, how those compounds will react with phosphorus trichloride. Here, not only phosphorus trichloride, we can take PBr3 or Pi3 also, or instead of taking PCl3, you can take red phosphorus plus 3Cl2 also, or you can take red phosphorus plus concentrate HCl also. In any of these cases, here you have taken red phosphorus plus 3Cl2, you can take red phosphorus plus 3Br2 or red phosphorus plus 3I2. In this way only, we can prepare PBr3 or Pi3. So see such a big number of reactions. PCl3, it can be PBr3, it can be Pi3, it can be red phosphorus plus 3Cl2 or 3Br2 or 3I2 or it can be red phosphorus plus HCl or HBr or HI. Any of all these compounds you can take, you can consider. And now we will see how these organic compounds react with this red phosphorus, sorry, red phosphorus plus Cl2 or you can say PCl3 or. So see, whenever any organic compound reacts with PCl3, and if that reaction is possible, if it is possible, that also we will discuss. How we will come to know whether the reaction of any organic compound with PCl3 will be possible or not. That also is very easy. But you should know valency, you should know balancing. Then only you can understand this concept. If you don't know valency of elements or if you don't know balancing of chemical reactions, then it is very difficult for you to manage organic chemistry. So see if that organic compound, if any organic compound reacts with PCl3 and as I have already told you instead of PCl3 you can take PBr3, Pi3, red phosphorus plus 3Cl2 or 3Br2 or 3I2. In every case, product formed will always be phosphorus acid, H3PO3. See, everyone gives importance to this. And in every organic compound, this product will be main product and this will be difficult to learn because in every organic compound, this product will be different. So it will be very difficult for us to remember. But if we know valency or if we know balancing, then it will be very easy for us to handle. So I am not giving importance to this. But in question, they will be asking this only. And there I am zero and see how will I be managing. So the product formed will always be H3PO3, that is phosphorus acid. See, now I will be taking CH3, CH2OH plus PCL3 here. As I have already told you, if that reaction will be possible, then product will always be phosphorus acid. From where this 3H and 3O will come, this 3H and 3O will always come from the functional group. In functional group, how many H and O are there? Only one H and one O. But how many H and O are required? 3H and O are required. That's why I have taken 3CH3, CH2. See, H3, P, O, 3. So this all is over. H3, P, O, 3. Now see what is rest. Rest is CH3, CH2, C. So here, this chloroethane, that is ethyl chloride, will be the main product and this phosphorus acid will also be there along with this. See how many times this reaction will be there there in your slavers. 
once it will be there there in the chemical properties of ethyl alcohol chemical properties of pcl3 method of preparation of chloroethane method of preparation of phosphorus acid see in inorganic chemistry it is twice and in organic chemistry also it is twice so this is not one reaction it is four reaction four times you will be getting there in your syllabus and if it is pcl3 then only it is four times if it is pbr3 then again four pi3 four red phosphorus plus cl2 then again four pb sorry red phosphorus plus 3 br2 3 i2 then again every time it will be four with only one ethanol it is four times like this if we will be doing it using phenol c6h5oh plus pcl3 as i have already told you see everybody writes this first but what is the need of writing this first always write h3po3 now see again here from where this h and o you have taken that will always be there from the functional group only it can't be this hydrogen it can't be these hydrogen so never always functional group from there we will be taking h and o to form h3po3 see now you have said 3 h and 3 o and here h and o are one so we'll take three so this is over h3 p o 3 now what rest is rest is chlorobenzene chlorobenzene now c we will discuss one more reaction if we take c2 h5 o c2 h5 plus p c l3 then again here what will be the product product will be h3 p o 3 c from where you have taken this h and o you have taken h and o from functional group but in functional group as we know in ether functional group is o and in functional group there is no h so how h3 po3 can be formed so this reaction won't be possible so you should know valency you should know balancing you should know this point then that in h3 po3 h and o comes from functional group then it is very easy for you to manage this reaction now see one more reaction ch3 co ch3 plus pcl3 what will be the product here again phosphorus acid h3 po3 see here this as i have told you so many times that this h and o comes from functional group and functional group in case of acetone in case of ketone is co in this functional group there is no h so this reaction will also not be possible now see ch3 cho ch3 cho plus pcl3 acetaldehyde ethanol reacts with pcl3 to form again same h3po3 see what functional group is functional group is cho in case of acetaldehyde in case of aldehyde functional group will be cho here h and o are they are there in the functional group to form this h3po3 as i told you here one h and one o are there and there in h3po3 how many h and o are required three so you'll take three now see you have taken h3po3 you have taken h3 h3 p o 3 so h o and p all are used now what rest is rest is 3 c h 3 c what is rest here ch3c what is left over here in this acetaldehyde 
CH3C. And here, what is left is Cl. Since CH3C is 3, so we'll write here 3. Cl is also 3. Sorry. Cl is also 3. So we'll take Cl 3. Now see, everything is over. Nothing is left. They are on reactant side. See the valency of this carbon. Valency of this carbon here is 2 now. And that is not possible. That's wrong. That is what I told you. If you know valency and balancing of reactions, then it will be very easy for you to handle. So see, acetone can't react with PCL3. Acetaldehyde can't react with PCL3. Ether can't react with PCL3. This was an integer type question there in IIT JEE. They gave a list of compounds and asked how many of them will react with PCL3. So they can ask you like this. So just to see, PCL3 reaction can only be possible in ether and in acetone. You need not to check. You need not to go to this side. Why? Here itself you will come to know. Since there is no H, since here there is no H, so no reaction. In this case, you need to check. And valency will help you. Balancing and valency will help you to come to know about this. We'll take one more reaction. We'll take uh, acetic acid also. Like this, you can do so many number of reactions. See, such a large topic it is, such a big topic it is. It is not less than 70, 80 reactions. Now see CH3. C double OH. Here I took phenol, na. that was the normal one. That was the normal one. So here we are talking in normal sense only. CH3 C double OH, that is acetic acid or ethanoic acid, it reacts with PCL3 to form H3PO3. C. Here this is your functional group. In this functional group, in this functional group, H and O are there. These three H 3O will react with phosphorus to form H3PO3. What is rest? Rest is CH3, C double bond O. CH3, C double bond O. And 3Cl. So 3Cl, 3Cl. What this is? This is acid chloride. This is acetyl chloride. This is ethanoid chloride. So like this, many more compounds you can take. You, you can take so many compounds from entire organic chemistry. You can take compounds from entire organic chemistry and can do reactions of all such organic compounds with this PCL3 to get the product. So easy to manage. In next video, we'll do all reactions of PCL5 like this only. And then at last we'll do in third video, we'll do reactions of SOCl to thionyl chloride with organic compounds. So from entire organic chemistry, we will do reactions related to PCL3, PCL5, SOCl2, like this only. If tomorrow they will be giving you something new, some new compound, then also you can handle like this. But you should be good in valency and balancing. Please keep on updating me if you need some help. They are in valency and oxidation number, etc. I will make videos on those topics too. So please let me know. Thank you very much.